and his consistency has just not been there. He needs to put a couple starts together. Scudero to center field. Jacoby Ellsbury scampering back to reel it in. Average is good for sixth in the American League to start the day. And he jets one out to center. Going to be a tougher play for Ellsbury as he heads back and makes this two. Right up against the wall in center field. Got a good break. Gets as the game goes on, so he's got to be careful early. Rios lines one to left and in for a base hit. First base runner of the night for the Toronto Blue Jays. Wells chops it to third. Lowell's going to go to second for the force out. It ends the top of the first inning. Throw the ball hard, curveball, slider, changeup. What new? He's got everything. This one chopped back to the mound as Cecil fires to first base in time to get Ellsbury. That they haven't seen. I mean, this is tough. You got it first time around, you got to check it out. And on the ground and knocked down by Hill. Hits so hard he has time to recover and he gets Dustin Pedroia. Not pretty for Big Poppy. As he grounds one softly to first base. With it is over Bay. He'll take it himself. And it's a 1 2 3 2 2 to Lynn. And on the ground is shortstop Julio Lugo. For the first out of the second inning. Great deal, and their offense is working at all cylinders. On the ground, a fair ball in the left field. Scott Rowland thinking too as Jason Bay goes to dig it out. Rowland easily into second base with a one out double. Are hurt. They lost A.J. Burnett during the offseason. Fly ball to center field. Jacoby Ellsbury is under it. When he makes the catch, Rowland will stay put at second, and there's two down. Second year in Toronto. He did have 11 homers last year. This time lifts a fly ball out towards Jason Bay. He'll give way to Ellsbury, who makes the catch to end. The Hooks it left side off the brother Rowland into left. Euclid will stay at first base. Got himself a base hit. Picked up where he left off. Hit the ball. Don Orsillo, Dennis Eckersley, and Heidi Watney. As Bay goes to right and in for a hit. Euclid takes second base, and the first two have reached. But he handles things. On the ground towards shortstop. Scooter to second for one on to first. Double play. That's Cecil getting a big double play. As Utes is so far in the early going. It's just his fourth major league start. To third base. Scott Rowland to his left. to throw low, but dug out by Overbay. In a promising inning with the... Chopped right side. Pedroia diving. Gets up quickly and throws out Snyder. Nice play by Pedroia's. His ball four penny wanted it. But a base runner here with one down away. Oh, this location, but he's hit into center field and he'll stay in the yard. Jacoby Ellsbury's there to make the catch, and there's two down. Here to get more of the plate than. Comes in. There's a mislocation. This one's going to land off the wall. Jason Bay plays the carom to second base. Rio's got to hurry up. The throw not in time. Well, the ball got there, but he was. Fly ball short center. Ellsbury in and under. Puts it away. And Penny gets out of trouble. In the one to Baldelli, and he's going to do it right here to Veritech, try to punch him out. Late left attack to deep left field towards the monster seats and gone. Home run number six of the season. The captain puts the Red Sox on top one to nothing. Texas Rangers, well, the MVP in 1974. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dating myself. I was six to left field. And that is high off the wall for Julio Lugo. Heading for second base. Throw is not going to be in time. A double. The butt. A little pop up. And he can't catch it. Off the end of the glove. And he may have hurt himself in the process. And the pitcher, Brett Cecil, diving to try to make. Right now in Fenway Park. 
Well, on the ground toward second base, Hill to second for one, on to first, double play. We'll take that in exchange for the run. Was Swing and a miss at 93, not close. And Ortiz, the Red Sox have helped him out offensively in those rough outings, coming back with some pretty big deficits. On the ground down the first baseline, Euclid will handle it himself for the first out of the inning. Let's check in with Heidi. I mean, Rolling to center, Ellsbury is back there to make the grab, and there's two down. It's crazy. Strike three really drives him crazy. Instead, he lifts it out towards deep left center field. Ellsbury going back onto the track to make the catch. Hands high like that. Kids probably at home making, trying to do that. Huh? All over New England. Aren't they? In the backyards. Well, he strikes out this time. Cecil. Kind of a hard time hitting it up there. He'll take it for ball four instead. Yeah, the first. Roll strikes out. Up and away, and he goes after it for out number two. There goes Bay. A little hit and run, and a little chopper in front of the plate. On to first for the out. And there's Rod Barajas aggressively out there. Fastball away. Keep it down. It's popped up. Shallow right center. Pedroia out. Ellsbury in. Why not? He's caught everything else. Why not is right. Nine put out. Blows it by Snyder. It's the first strikeout for Penny. And it's time for a game break. He's got five. <laughs> right? Chops softly towards third. Lowell quickly gathers and throws in plenty of time. And Veritek knows what to do with it. Boom. To center field with this one. Vernon Wells back. Veritek has gone deep twice tonight. And the Red Sox lead it three to nothing. And he knows what to do with it. Attack. Seven on the season. Now well, to third base for Lugo. They throw across to first to retire him. Scott Rowland up diving to make the grab and did a face plan as well. And now Ellsbury aboard with a one out walk. Now to right center field. Alex Rios on the run's not going to get there. For the track of the wall is Ellsbury going to try and score from first. The throw to the plate is going to be in time. They got him. What a diving stretch there from Rod Barajas, the catcher. Ortiz to center field. Vernon Wells is back. Has he done it? He has. First home run of 2009 for Big Poppy. He's he's got that first one out of the way. This one is ripped into left field. Second hit for Euclid. Now Bay with a rocket to deep left field. When it comes down, Red Sox will lead it seven nothing. Thought Yankee Stadium was happy land tonight. No, Fenway Park turned into happy land because this is another bomb. Is this a Fenway stroke or what? This kid never gave up a 7 0 Sox. Oh. Lowell to left. Does it have enough? Up, back. It's gone. Back to back jacks for the Red Sox in the fifth. Cito Gaston leaving this kid in just too long for me. Five home runs by the Red Sox. It's a little late, Cito. <laughs> One, two to left center field. Vernon Wells not going to get there. In fact, it gets by him and Snyder. 
to the track of the wall. Baldelli heading for third base. The throw is not going to be in time. None. Zero. 2-2 two -two is a breaking ball for strike three. Veritek is gone. How about this? Aaron Hill leading it off. Long wait for Brad Penny. Up the middle. And Pedroia can't get it. Aaron Hill's got a leadoff single. To left center field. Ellsbury can get his 10th. I think you're going to be excited again. I'm That's excited. Center. I'm back to being excited again. That ties a Red Sox. This is line to left and a base hit for Wells. Aaron Hill stops at second base. Two on with one away for the Jays here. Ball. Ball's outside. Right three over the outside corner. Lynn doesn't like it. There's Scott Rowland who drives one to center. This could be the 11th put out out there. And it is Jacoby Ellsbury. One put out away. For we go waits on a 1-1. Rounds it to third base. Scott Rowland. And there's one down. Ellsbury foul tipped held onto by Barajas. Strike three. Second strike. Ball four. And Pedroia down to first base. Paint. Strike three call. We played six. Had the chance to catch a Red Sox home game. Thanks to Dunkin' Donuts. This one headed out to deep right center field. Ellsbury headed back. Overbay has sent it off the wall. The 420 marker. The deepest part of the ballpark. And is headed for three. And will get to third base standing. For the leadoff triple to begin the seventh. To left field struck well. Bay looking up. And it's high off the wall. Overbay scores from third. Barajas with a long RBI single. And it's eight. High chopper that's going to head into right field. Barajas heads for third base. And the Blue Jays have first and third now with nobody out. And it's hit hard to third. Lower to second for one on to first double play. Run scored for the. Nope. On the ground on the third baseline, a twist and a turn and a fair ball. Had a lot of backspin on it, ended up breaking back towards Mike Lowell. Field. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that's good? I don't know. I mean, he did what he had to do. He kept the team in the game, two run lead. Next thing you know, he leaves the game, eight to two. W. So. Pedroia put. Two two. Euclidus. His third hit of the night in his first night back. It's been a good start for Kevin Euclid. Zero. Shortstop for the Blue Jays. There's strike three as Wolf gets him for the first out of the bottom of the. And last year briefly as well. Roll to left field. A fair ball to the corner. Euclid is headed for third base. He'll stop there as Lowell into second base with a double. Strike three call. So two strikeouts for Brian Wolf. And as he heads down to first base with the bases loaded. That division's just going to be a walk away for the Dodgers. Hopped up. Barajas has a play. And the Blue Jays catcher makes it to end things here in the seventh. In training when I was with the Cleveland, I was like 18 years old. This is rocketed to left field and it's high off the wall for Vernon Wells who takes a wide turn at first a very long single. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Let's just watch him pitch. Biting your nails type of game. To center field and in for a base hit. Adam Lynn not waiting around either. And it's back. Three and a third shutout innings in two outings. This one looped to second going to try and make it two but cannot. Soft line drive up to the left center field and struck well. Back goes Ellsbury at the wall. He will leap and not make the catch. From second base, Vernon Wells scores as the Blue Jays get a run back. And it's second and third now with. Go away, man. You got to get used to it. 
Popped up, foul ground. Veritek coming back to the screen, and he makes the catch. The big out. It's out number two. Fourth that he has had against Wakefield. He gets 433 against Wakefield, but against Okajima, he pops one up. Mike Lowell at third base puts it away. Top of the eighth is over. Ryan in the game last night, one inning, giving up a couple of hits. Not this time. He strikes out Jacoby Ellsbury for the first out on Nesson. Pedroia on the ground to third base. Scott Rowland across the diamond. Two down. Action. Ortiz to center field. Vernon Wells going back at the wall. Off the wall. Batista plays the carom. Big Poppy's in the second. He adds a double to his resume on the night. Boy, did he need that to three. Look, he's gone. He wow. never even stopped. He strikes out Euclid, and it concludes the eighth inning. We head to the ninth. Eight to three. It off for the Jays in the ninth. Against Takashi Saito, who retrieves this comebacker and flips to first for the out. To left field, Jason Bay is there, and there's two down. You know, if you think about it, when the Red Sox go to Rios, to right field, deep was Baldelli, and it's in for a hit. Rocco plays it on a hop, and a two out single for Rios, his third hit of the 2 2. To left field, and this is going to drop in for a base hit. Rios to second base on the single by Wells. He's got a three hit night. Fly ball center field. This could tie the major league record. Ellsbury's under it. This will be his 12th put out. What a way to end the night. <laughs> Ellsbury in his 12th put out makes the catch to end the ball game and he ties a major league record for put outs. He is busy out there in center field and up to the task tonight.